Here is another question that popped up on my channel. The individual wanted to know how longer treads, longer steps affect the width of a stair stringer. And I see this a lot. Someone has a short stair stringer, maybe three or four steps, and they cut it out of a two by 10 or they purchase a pre-cut stair stringer that would have been cut out of a two by 10. And that would be nine and a half inches from here to the tip when you would lay out the stair stringer if you laid it out in a conventional um, and standard method. Now, here's a two by 10 stair stringer with a seven and three quarter inch riser and an 11 inch tread. And it has about a three and an eighth inch, three and a quarter inch. Um, we used to call this the meat of the stair stringer. You know, this isn't very much. This is less than a two by four. And I'm not suggesting that this set of stairs will ever fall apart. And of course, you could always nail a, um, some support boards underneath it, um, like some wall framing studs, or you could uh, add a two by four or a two by six to the side of it, kind of a thing to reinforce it. However, that won't be necessary if you use a two by 12. And here you're gonna have about five and an eighth of an inch. Now, five inches seems like that's plenty of lumber to um, use it for the structural strength. Three inches, um, that's just probably not gonna cut it, especially on a longer set of stairs with no support braces underneath it. Now you can always design these stairs accordingly. If you're going to be using supports underneath them, or if you are going to have uh, some type of supports that you are going to attach to the side of them, and then it's not going to be a problem. So I don't want to just sit, throw it out there and say, hey, wait a minute, you got to use 2 by 12. It's going to depend upon the design of the stairway. But by now you're starting to get the picture here, 11 inch tread, seven and three quarter inch riser, two by 12. This is how much meat we got left on the stringer. Two by 14 is going to be even larger. And I don't think this is necessary for a small set of stairs. But if you're going to be using a longer um, stringer, something that's going to be 10 to, um, let's just say 16, 20 foot long, something like that. And this is definitely gonna help you, especially if you don't have a lot of supports um, bracing, wall framing studs for the stairway. So you're just going to have a freestanding stairway with 14 steps on it. 2 by 14 is probably going to create a nice structurally strong stairway. Now here's where the problem starts to um, happen. Instead of having an 11 inch um, tread, we have a 13 inch stair tread, one foot, one inch stair tread. Now we're going to have six inches. If this was a 2 by 12, we would have 4 inches. If it was a 2 by 10, we would have 2 inches. Not going to make us, not going to make the structural engineer or the property owner happy. And if we add 2 inches to the step again, making it a 14 inch, a 15 inch stair step, I mean, 15 inch step, 7 and 3 quarter inch riser, now we're down to 4 and 13 sixteenths, which would be about four and three quarters, four and seven eighths, something like that um, here. And this still um, might be acceptable depending upon the length of the stair stringer and the design of the stairway. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up right here because I don't see any other need to go longer and have this measurement go smaller. I think by now you get the picture of how a longer stair step, a, a um, stair tread that is going to be deeper in depth is going to create problems for your structural stair stringer. So longer steps are probably going to require larger um, stringers.